In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily put footage inside your text and do a cool zoom in effect in DaVinci Resolve. This works both in the free and paid version. And Will and I release weekly YouTube videos all about videography, editing, as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. And now let's hop into the video. All right, so we're in the edit page of Resolve and I have this beautiful drone shot here that I want to show through our text. First thing we're gonna do is move this clip up onto the V3 track because we're gonna be putting some assets on the tracks below. Next, let's go to effects to open it up and under toolbox titles, let's drag our text title onto the V2 track. Drag the length of the text out so it matches the duration of our clip. Disable video track three so that we can see what we're doing with the text. Great. Open up inspector. Oops, making sure that our text layer is selected and we're working in title. Change the text to whatever you'd like. And I recommend you choose a font that's bulkier so that you'll be able to see more of the footage show through. I really like impact and I like Bebus new. I think that's how you say it, Bebus, Bebus? I don't know. And I'm pretty sure you can download both of these fonts for free. Let's increase the size so the word takes up a lot more of the screen. You can also adjust tracking if you want to, which is the spaces in between each letter. You can adjust the position of your font using the X and Y axis. Okay, let's pop over to settings. Make sure composite's turned on, which is indicated when this button is red. Let's change composite mode to alpha. Now you're not seeing the footage show through yet because we have to change the composite mode on our clip too. So let's turn the V3 track back on, select our clip in the composite tab under composite mode, choose foreground. Okay, so there are a few more things I wanna do still. In our effects panel under toolbox, let's choose generators, find solid color and drag that onto the V1 track. Increase the duration so it matches the footage and text. Select our solid color, go over to generator, click on the color box, drag the slider all the way over to white. And now we have a white background. Of course, you could change the color to whatever you like. White's fine for me. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, that's looking good, but I wanna add one more effect to make it look a little cooler. So let's bring our cursor to the beginning of our footage. Okay, so let's select our text, click on this drop down menu, choose dynamic zoom, and this outer red border shows the position that the zoom's gonna begin at. The inner green border shows where the zoom's gonna end at, and we can adjust it, which we're gonna do by grabbing one of these anchor points. We're gonna bring it way down in size and move it over so that it just covers this mountain showing within the sea here. Okay, and let's check out what that's looking like. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. If we wanna reverse the speed of that zoom in so that it's actually zooming out, what we can do is go into settings under dynamic zoom and hit swap. Okay, so I'm liking the look of everything so far, but the zoom in through the text is moving a little slow for me. And after we zoom through the text, I'd prefer if the clip itself actually continued to play. So let's drag our text layer in to decrease the duration it's shown on screen. We aren't gonna touch the duration that our clip's on screen. So it's now showing for longer. Now let's check this out. Awesome. A lot of you have been asking for a DaVinci Resolve free version, beginner's tutorial all about color correction. Thank you for commenting and letting me know what you want. I love hearing what people are struggling with, what they want to see from me so I can make a video for them. And I just wanna say I am in the process of making a color correction for beginners video. So stay tuned for that. If it's something you're into, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. If you like the music that you hear in this video or you wanna know what gear we use and recommend, then check out the description below and I hope to see you again next week.